Hey folks, welcome to the first installment of uh, Slide and Fingerstyle Guitar Together. Um, I have a few videos posted on YouTube, but not many lessons. And I, I love to teach. I, I teach here at home um, privately, and uh, I, I really enjoy it. So I'm going to start adding some simple lessons here on YouTube. And uh, also want to let you all know I'm doing Skype lessons coming up here shortly. Uh, so if you uh, would like a private lesson, um, either regular or just every once in a while, um, I'll be offering those through my webpage, uh, which is the information's there on the bottom uh, under the video. You can check that out. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I'll be posting some stuff on, on YouTube. And, and uh, again, if, if, if you like what you're doing or if you like what I'm doing, um, look me up and, and we can hook up no matter where you are, you know, the World Wide Web, as they say. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, the first slide lesson that I'm doing is in Open D. Uh, a lot of people start in, in Open G. Um, but uh, I have this little exercise that I think sounds really nice. It's fun to play. It's musical. Um, and it works great in Open D. Um, but the first lesson will simply just be uh, a D, D minor pentatonic scale, really. Uh, some people refer to this scale as the blue scale, uh, but um, you know, we're leaving out the actual blue note of the scale, but um, all that doesn't really matter. Um, but technically it's a D minor pentatonic scale, and uh, we'll be starting, we'll be playing from the high octave to the low octave. And I'm only doing that because I, I think it sounds better for the exercise. Um, but a couple things before we get into playing is your instrument. You know, it really doesn't matter what guitar you're using. Obviously here I'm using a metal body guitar. Those are ideal for, you know, the early blues and, and uh, uh, Delta Blues stuff. But uh, it really doesn't matter what you're using. Uh, it could be an electric or an acoustic. Uh, the main thing is have a little higher action than what you normally would use for regular playing. The other thing is I prefer to use a heavier gauge string. A lot of people use light gauge on an acoustic to make it a little easier on your fingers. Uh, but when you're playing slide, you're not really doing that much fretting. Um, so the important thing is to get a nice clean sound on your slide. And I think higher action and heavier strings is the best way to go about doing that. Uh, but, you know, that's up to you. Um, now, if, if you want to have one guitar dedicated to slide, uh, the best thing to do is you know, take it to your shop and, and tell them what you want. And uh, they'll be able to hook you up with a decent set of strings. And, and raise the action a little bit for you. Um, but let's just get into this first first lesson and then we'll add in some finger style to this here as we move along. Uh, but let's get in tune together. So I'm assuming you're probably in standard and we need to get down to D. So to get to open D, the sixth string normally is an E. That comes down a whole step to D. The fifth string is tuned to A and that stays the same. The fourth string is tuned to D, that stays the same. The third string is normally a G, that goes down a half step to F sharp. The second string is normally a B, and that is tuned down a whole step to another A. And then finally the, the high E is normally high E, and in this case it's tuned down a whole step to another D. So we got D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Okay, now I didn't tune up to an actual tuner, um, uh, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close here. So, um, Anyhow, uh, let's just get started with the, the first little exercise here. Um, you see, I'm using a brass slide. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things out there. Uh, there are some gimmicks out there that you definitely want to avoid. You should never pay more than $15, maybe 20 at the most for a slide. Um, but there's some out there that say they do this and that and the other thing, and they're like 30, 40 bucks, and <laughs> I would avoid those. Um, you can use anything you like. I, I got one here that's kind of, uh, it's almost like PVC pipe. It's kind of a real hard plastic. Um, I have a, a glass one here. You can see this one's kind of foggy. It's got a little texture to it. Um, but uh, I prefer just this old Jim Dunlop $6.00 brass slide. Um, I like brass. Uh, obviously it doesn't break if you drop it, um, but it tarnishes. And I, I think it 
has a tendency to bite the string a little better uh, than glass or, or stainless steel. But uh, so, but whatever you want, you know, uh, buy a variety. You could use a, a socket from your socket set. You could use a shot glass. Uh, you could cut a piece of copper pipe, or uh, you know, if you got some spare pipes laying around in the basement, you can chop those up and use them for a slide. It really doesn't matter. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with is the main thing. Um, so anyway, uh, so we got our slide, we got our guitar, we're tuned to D. What we're going to do is, is start with this D minor pentatonic scale here uh, on the 12th fret. Now, for me to play the slide, first of all, on, on this exercise, we're just playing the first string. So I'm only using maybe, maybe half an inch, quarter inch of the slide to play the string. I'm not covering them all. Um, otherwise, you get a lot of excess rattle that you really don't need. Um, the other thing is, when you're fretting, normally you play right up next to the fret. In this instance, when we're playing slide, you play directly above it, right on top of the fret like you're doing a harmonic. The other thing is that I don't press down with the slide. I just lay the slide on the string. You can see I have my thumb. I don't know if you can see that. I have my thumb pretty square in the center of the neck. I mean, th that helps keep the slide straight. Uh, you don't want to angle it, because sometimes you'll be playing more than one string, and if I angle it, some of the notes that I play are going to be off pitch. So you kind of want to have it uh, parallel to the fret. Um, the other thing is, you'll notice I got some fingers behind my, my slide as well. And what that's doing is kind of cutting out any of the excess noise you might get. Not that that's a bad thing, because you, know, you want the listener to know that you're playing slide. Uh, but uh, it's best in the beginning to try and work that mute out. To try and get comfortable with those fingers behind the slide to kind of quiet down some of the rattle. Because uh, you can always take them off if you want it to sound a little more gritty. Um, but let's get through the scale here real quick. Um, simply, it's, it's, it's just the 12th fret, and you can use the index or your thumb. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to use my thumb. Um, don't use a pick, because we're going to eventually be using our thumb. Uh, but uh, for this exercise, index or, or your thumb is fine. Um, and you're just going to kind of slide into the, to the 12th fret here. And you can see I'm using a little vibrato. And that's just kind of going back and forth gently. I don't go way up or way back. I kind of stick within the fret above and the fret below where I'm playing. Um, so you don't really need that right now, uh, but you can practice it if you like. Uh, so I'm going 12, 10, 7, 5, 3, and then just the open string. So again, that's 12, 10, 7, 5, 3, and open. Pretty simple. Um, you know, get that clean. But, um, you know, nice and you want your notes to be accurate like you're, you're fretting. So work through that. Uh, when you get that steady and it's nice and clean, let's you can add the thumb to it. And it's fairly simple. A lot of people look at thumb style or Travis picking, finger style, whatever you want to call it, as being fairly difficult, but it's it's really not. It's really easy if you if you just kind of break it down into its most basic form and then you can, you know, add in all the uh, fancy stuff uh, as you get comfortable. All we're going to do is alternate the thumb on six and four, so the, the two Ds. And for every six string that we play with our thumb, we're going to add in a note from the scale. So we would have six and six and one together. That's called a pinch when you play the two strings together. The four string in the middle. Down to ten and repeat that. Seven. Five, three, and open. Okay? Now you notice here it's, it's not very rhythmic yet, you know, we're just going through the motions. So what I recommend is starting the thumb by itself for about four beats, maybe eight beats, because basically your thumb is your timekeeper. It's just playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. 
and so get that going steady and when you feel ready then add in add in your little scale run so let's start that together we'll just do four beats of the, the bass by itself and then we'll add in our little scale run one two three four to it you know uh, it seems like a little bit uh, but it really really gets you started and it's a great exercise to go through um, and really you know between that string and the second string you can pretty much play 75% every <laughs> Blind Willie Johnson song out there uh, so you know just have fun with it once you get steady and accurate on the scale then you know start moving uh, some of the notes around a little bit and come up with your own melodies the same just just uh, toy around with it and have some fun and uh, um, you know we're, we're, we're gonna get more complicated on that uh, in, in the next lesson but really I wouldn't go past that uh, for a couple weeks you know get really 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 comfortable uh, at making those movements and if you want you can reverse the process and start with the open string and, and end on the on the 12th just so it doesn't always sound the same but uh, um, give it a shot um, and, and enjoy it.